yeah, as yeah, a rocket. Yeah, not, to, not to not to nuke anyone, but <laughs> but they had they, they had to uh, as a result of arms reduction talks, they had to actually destroy a bunch of their their big nuclear missiles. So I was like, well, how about if we take two of those, you know, minus the nuke, add it an additional upper stage for for Mars? Um, but it was kind of trippy, you know, being in Moscow in 2001 negotiating with like the Russian military to buy ICBMs. Like that's crazy. I was like, man, these things are getting really expensive. And and then I, I came to realize that actually the problem was not that there was insufficient will to go to Mars, but that there was no way to do so without breaking the budget, you know, even breaking the NASA budget. So that's where I decided to start SpaceX to, SpaceX to advance rocket technology to the point where we could send people to Mars. And that was in 2002. So that wasn't, you know, you didn't start out wanting to start a business. You wanted to start just something that was interesting to you that you thought humanity needed. So um, again, with, with SpaceX, starting SpaceX was really from the standpoint of like, I, I think there's like a less than 10% chance of being successful. If, if a startup doesn't do something to advance rocket technology, it's definitely not coming from, from the big defense contractors because they just impede and smash to the government and the government just wants to do very conventional things. So there's, it's either coming from a startup or it's not happening at all. So, so like a small chance of success is better than no chance of success. And even like when recruiting people, I, I didn't like try to, you know, make out that it would, I said, we're probably going to die, but a small chance we might not die. And if, but this is the only way to get people to Mars and advance the state of the art. And then I ended up being chief engineer of the rocket, but not because I wanted to, but because I couldn't hire anyone who was good. So like none of the good sort of chief engineers would join because they're like, this is too risky. You're going to die. And uh, so then I ended up being chief engineer of the rocket and, you know, the first three flights did fail. So it's a bit of a learning exercise there. And uh, fourth one fortunately worked, but if the fourth one hadn't worked, I had no money left and that would have been, it would have been curtains. So it was a pretty close thing. If, if the fourth launch of Falcon did not work, it would have been just curtains and we would have just been, joined the, the graveyard of prior rocket startups. We just, we made it by the skin of our teeth.